The wild rabbit actually originated from Spain and southwest France. Rabbits were first brought to England in the 12th century. They were kept in captivity as a source of meat and also for their fur. These rabbits were farmed as a source of income. However, when a few managed to escape the confines of their warrens, they began to multiply and became so common that there was no sense to the rabbit farms any longer. These rabbits were able to establish themselves quite well in Britain by living off the vegetation and fighting off predators. Although they were originally from a warmer climate, they adapted quite nicely to the cooler climate. They continued to reproduce consistently. Diet The wild rabbit is a herbivore who survives by eating grasses, flowering plants and leafy weeds. However, a wild rabbit will also eat all vegetable matter and chew on tree bark during the winter months, when there is a lack of growth for grasses and leaves. To make their diet more beneficial, a rabbit will consume its fecal matter to reuse the nutrients that are lost when they defecate. This instinctive behavior is done because they do not obtain enough nutrition from the foods they find. During the late afternoon, or grazing period, the wild rabbit will eat voraciously for the first half hour of eating. During the second half hour, they will be more selective in regards to the grasses and other items that they are consuming. At his second and slower eating time, the rabbit will defecate quite frequently, with these being truly waste matter. These are the feces that the wild rabbit will not eat again. Homes The wild rabbit burrows into the ground for a safe place to live. These tunnels that are made of separate rooms for sleeping and nesting. These warrens or tunnels are completed with multiple exits for a quick escape if danger approaches, or if they are being chased. Wild rabbits may live in a large group or colony. They, too, are social creatures. The wild rabbit, no matter how hungry it becomes, does not eat meat. Their sensitive digestive systems cannot digest meat. Since they are unable to digest meat, it will make them sick. This is why you will see wild rabbits eating or technically grazing on grass. The farmers that have wild rabbits around them will tell you that the wild rabbit will eat all their fresh greens. The digestive system of a wild rabbit is one that is developed for digesting large amounts of fiber and a small number of proteins. Domesticated rabbits obtain their protein from the pellets that are fed to them daily. The wild rabbit on the other hand finds grass stems in the warrens around them. The truth about wild rabbits is that they eat large volumes of grasses and hay. You might find that the wild rabbit struggles to find food in the winter or the colder months. The main diet will include twigs and bark woody plants. Some of their favorites that they will eat pieces of wood from include oak, sumac, dogwood, and birch. In the winter, a wild rabbit is going to go further and work harder to find food to eat. For wild rabbits who do not have humans providing timothy hay for them, they will feed on the low nutrient wood parts of a plant. This includes buds, twigs, and even the bark of the tree. Another food item that rabbits will feed on is scotropes. The scotropes they search out are not difficult for them to find. These would be their night feces. The softer droppings they leave. They do this because there are still nutrients in the fecal matter. The rabbit will eat this fecal matter, and be able to get the nutrients out of it as they digest the feces. This sounds disgusting to a human, but for the rabbit, it makes logical healthy sense. Eating their feces does help keep their digestive system healthy. These scotropes will also provide the rabbit with enough energy to allow them to play and be active. If you are feeling nice, it is okay to leave a pile of twigs and leaves, or even bark in a pile for the rabbit. You would need to put this out of the way, yet in an area where you have seen evidence of rabbit activity. Be sure to tell any children to not feed the rabbits. This could cause the rabbit to feel intimidated and then he will run away. Tips for feeding a wild rabbit. If you see a rabbit, you could get to your kitchen and grab some food. However, it is best if you know how to feed a wild rabbit and what to feed them. Some of these tips will also include ways to help the wild rabbit survive through the winter. You could put up a shelter for the rabbit. This could be a box that is mostly enclosed. Placing a small bundle of hay within the box will give them a place to rest. For food for a wild rabbit, you could place some food right outside the shelter. The foods that a wild rabbit is going to appreciate include twigs, grass, and good quality hay. It would be easy to suggest stopping at the pet store to pick up some pellets, however, this could cause some difficult conversations with others. When you willingly give a wild rabbit the extra items that they are unable to find outdoors, this could make them become dependent on you. They will not work to find their own food when it is needed. This is why the best advice is to stick with the leaves, twigs, bark and other bits of wood. The wild rabbit loves the roots of fresh grass. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.